Time to show you some of this morning's headlines from around the globe. The Washington Post says Iran has expanded two nuclear facilities it uses to make enriched uranium. UN inspectors visited the sites this summer. They say there's enough fuel to make about nine nuclear bombs if it was turned into weapons grade. But the Iranians aren't producing enough to cross a red line set by Israel last fall. The Billings Montana, Montana Gazette says a judge has apologized for his remarks about a teenage rape victim. Judge G. Todd Baugh said the girl was, quote, as much in control of the situation as a teacher who admitted having sex with her when she was 14. The girl committed suicide before Stacey Ramble went on trial. Ramble ended up getting just 30 days in jail. The judge defends that sentence but says his comments about the victim were stupid and wrong. The Wall Street Journal says Amazon.com is taking its sales tax fight all the way to the Supreme Court. Amazon argues that its New York customers should not have to pay sales tax because the company doesn't have physical operations such as employees or warehouses in that state. And the San Francisco Chronicle says the Old Bay Bridge was shut down last night. It marks the end of a nearly 77-year run for the Eastern Span, which connects San Francisco and Oakland. The last car to cross was a 1930 Ford model. Ford Model A. A replacement bridge is expected to open as early as Monday night. And they say in, in this area, Anthony, they're being reminded that patience is a virtue <laughs> because traffic's going to be a nightmare. They're going to learn a lot about patience.